Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my layering video. I have been talking about this for a while um, and the reason why it's taken me so long to do it is because I was trying to figure out the best way to go about this video. So I decided the best way because there's always going to be new fragrances coming out, there's always going to be um, different trends and fragrances or different tastes. I thought it might be really fun to actually do a few different layering videos. So this first video is going to be some springtime layering recommendations and showing you some of my specific favorite fragrances um, that I've been layering and loving recently. So if you want to know about springtime layering fragrances and some layering fragrances that I think are fantastic and worth investing in, then keep watching. Rose to layering. Um, it helps your fragrance last longer, it can bring new life to a different fragrance, and it's a great way to expand your fragrance wardrobe without having to spend money on constantly getting new bottles. Um, I love layering, um, my mom loves layering, we just really have a lot of fun. It's a really fun thing to do. Um, particularly, I like to layer more in the spring and summer um, because I feel like a lot of the fragrances that I have that are better for spring and summer and my spring and summer fragrances tend to work better together than my fall and winter fragrances. Um, but I wanted to kind of talk about some ways that you can brighten up fragrances and also make some fragrances a little bit more masculine and unisex. Now the reason why this video took me so long is because I was testing these out on my skin for weeks. So these are the ones that I found on my skin and my environment worked the best. Again, take this video and my recommendations as just recommendations. It's not set in stone or fact. These are just fragrances that I found worked really well together. Um, but just use this as inspiration to have a lot of fun when you layer your fragrances. To brighten up fragrances, the easiest way to do that is to find a citrus fragrance. Citrus fragrances are a wonderful way to brighten up just about anything. Um, you want to kind of maybe stay away some, from some gourmands and fragrances because it can kind of clash. But some bright, overtly sweet, maybe heavy, syrupy citrus fragrances, if maybe you wanted to wear them for the daytime, or even some really heavy white florals can be lightened and brightened with a citrus fragrance. Um, the one that I particularly like to use for layering, I've worn it a few times on its own, and although I do really like it on its own, I think it really sings as a layering fragrance, and it's from Atelier Cologne Pomelo Paradise. I've got a tiny one of these specifically because I just use it for layering, and I just spritz it once right before I would spritz on another fragrance. The two fragrances, or the three fragrances I've been currently mixing with this that I've just been obsessed over is Clementine California. Now if you guys don't know what a pomelo is, pomelo is the best way I can describe it is like the larger, less bitter version of a grapefruit, they're kind of like cousins. Um, and grapefruit and fragrances has that bright, beautiful bitterness that I really, really like. This is a tiny bit sweeter, but you still get the beauty of the grapefruit. Um, but again, it's not a grapefruit. But I love how juicy this is without, again, it smelling like juice. I think Atelier Cologne has such a beautiful way of interpreting true to what it is in a fragrance without it smelling gimmicky or like a sticker or like a body mist you get for like $5.99. Um, because sometimes when you get like these orange fragrances, it smells like juice and it just doesn't smell right on skin. It kind of smells like you spilled a glass of orange juice on you in the morning and you didn't clean it up. The beauty of the um, citrus fragrances from Atelier Cologne is they smell like fragrances inspired by those juices. Um, and they're beautiful unisex fragrances. So what I love mixing these two together is this is very bright and it's very beautiful and I love the clementine but there's just something magical about these two together. It's almost like a burst of citrus without the overtly used, although I absolutely love it, bergamot or orange or lemon or lime. It's just a fresh burst of juice. It just smells completely different while at the same time being very easy to wear and perfect for springtime. So I love these two together. Another fragrance that I love to layer with Pomelo Paradise is Pampaloon 
from Guerlain. This is from their Guerlain Aqua Allegoria Pampaloon. This is a new fragrance to my collection. You'll be seeing it very soon, the next few days, in my um, haul for this month. But this is a fragrance I have been meaning to buy forever. And I just, I sometimes, because there's so many fragrances I need to buy, I just put it off and put it off. Um, and I finally bought a bottle of this, and I'm so glad I did. I bought it at the very beginning of the month. I've been wearing it, like, non-stop. This is the fragrance mixed with this that I have been reaching for when I've been going outside and doing activities. I've been going to the Ren Fest. I've been helping out in the yard. I've just been going out and just doing things outside. And when I'm outside, I get kind of sweaty, and it's really gross because it's just Florida humidity. And this is such a refreshing blend. This to me is a lot sweeter than this, but this sits really nice on the skin. The only problem I have with Aqua Allegoria fragrances is the fact that they don't have a lot of longevity on my skin. But I want this fragrance to last a long time, but I still kind of wanted to keep the integrity of this fragrance. I found with my other fragrances, if I just put one spritz of this on, with this it actually helps it maintain its longevity on my skin. Um, and it just smells beautiful the entire day. I really like it. So this has been my go-to this month for layering fragrances, and I've been enjoying it very much. If you didn't want to invest in a very expensive fragrance to layer, so you just kind of wanted to add a little bit of brightness or a little bit of fun to a fragrance, but you didn't want to spend $20, $30, $40, $50, $50, let me make a recommendation. This is something that my mom had, had me sample a few um, weeks ago, and I loved it. Um, and it's from, it's a, just an orange blossom perfume. It's from Floralinda, or Floralinda Perfumes. It's just orange blossom. Straight orange blossom. It is so pretty. <laughs> Such a pretty fragrance. So bright and floral. It sits on the skin really nicely. And this has been something else that if you want to add to a fragrance, to brighten it up, to make it smell beautiful, and you just want the freshness and the juiciness of the orange blossom, and you don't want to spend 40, 50, 60, 70 dollars on a bottle of perfume, I would definitely recommend this to add to your springtime and summer fragrance wardrobe if you wanted to layer something to kind of juice it up and brighten it up without breaking the bank. So I did kind of want to mention this because I have been loving this. Also my go-to for this has been mixing it with this. This is Wildflower and Fern from Library of Flowers. This is such kind of like a soapy green floral fragrance and it's really beautiful right out of the bath. I love to spritz this right out of my bath or shower. And I just love the way that it just mixes with this. It's just a really beautiful, very feminine, easy to wear fragrance that's just perfect for springtime. I've just been loving it. Last but not least, um, now that we've talked about the fresh fragrances, I want to talk about a perfect fragrance to use if you wanted to kind of beef up another fragrance. Say you found a beautiful floral or a beautiful fragrance, but it was just a little bit too feminine for you. You prefer something a little bit more masculine. Um, but you love the heart, the DNA of that fragrance. If you like woody notes, and this is only if you like woody notes, um, I have found that layering fragrances with Molecule One has been a fantastic way to really intensify wood notes or add wood notes where they're not there. And mixed with florals, it's a great way to kind of make them a little bit more unisex or a little bit more masculine. Again, understand, this is the one I was kind of talking about where I was using it on my skin. This smells just about differently on everybody. Some people get it, some people don't. So do take this. <laughs> Um, don't take this too seriously. Um, try, I would try this for yourself if you have this fragrance. Um, I love the straight cedar in this, and one of my favorite like fragrance profiles right now is either really spiced rose, like peppery rose, or a heavy cedar rose fragrance. I want to smell wood, and I want to smell roses, but I really want to smell the wood. That sounds so weird. So one of the fragrances that I particularly like, this is one of the fragrances where either you love it or you hate it, and I'm on the love category, is Rose de Vence from Louis Vuitton. This can pull a little bit synthetic, it's a tiny bit, um, but I don't mind it because I just love the way this smells in general. It's a beautiful rose, it's a little bit clean, and then you get to the beautiful cedar. I do wish sometimes that this was heavier on the cedar, and that's where I mix with this, um, and it's just perfection. It's beautiful. What I will do is I will spray this on my skin. I will give it about 10 minutes. So what I might do is I might spray this before I put on my makeup. And then when I'm done putting on my makeup, I will spray this 
and just mixes together beautifully and it creates this really kind of woody masculine cedar rose fragrance that I'm just been ridiculously attracted to recently so I've been really loving this this is also a great fragrance again to add to a lot of kind of more woody florals I'd maybe stay away from things that are soapy or things that are you know maybe a little bit too jammy but if you're getting a fragrance and it has some wood notes into it but it's pulling a little bit too feminine and you want to kind of beef it up and make it more unisex or masculine this is a great thing to add especially if you kind of like the cedar pencil shaving-esque type fragrance uh, and I think this is perfect to really kind of beef up fragrances like that. Again, this is just my springtime recommendations. I'm going to have a summer one and a fall winter one. And if I come up with any interesting, fun layering techniques or fragrance um, combinations that I love, I will come back to this video. So this is going to be the layering video the first one and it's going to be the spring edition because I'm going to be continuing doing these fragrances because I think layering is something we all can really get behind we all can really enjoy and it's a lot of fun it's a great way to prolong your fragrances and to expand your wardrobe without having to spend a lot of money I would say if I could pick my favorite absolute favorite combination has been this this is what I'm wearing now this is what I've been wearing the past week um, I normally on my Instagram will post my fragrance of the day. I post my fragrance of the day and fragrance of the evening. But what happens is, is in the middle of the day, if my fragrance wears away, instead of reapplying my fragrance of the morning, I will just jump to this because that's generally when I'm running around town. But I think that if you have a chance to try these two together, do it. It's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, that's my layering recommendations. I hope you liked this video. And I'd also love to know what you guys recommend. Do you have a favorite fragrance you love to layer with everything? Do you have a fragrance you love to brighten things up? Do you have a fragrance you love to make things a little bit more masculine or more unisex? Do you have a combination you can't live without? I would love to know. Let me know in the comment section. As always, guys, if you like videos like this, specifically this layering video, so that I know to do more, and more specifically, more specifically, there we go, my fragrance videos, remember to give this a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. Also, don't forget to subscribe, because it's free, and I'm free, and I put out new videos every Monday through Friday, and sometimes on the weekends as well, so I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time. Bye.